Hello, welcome to Yates Makes. I'm Mark. Today we are lino printing along with mixed media. So this is in response to a request from ADJ. Would love to see more printing, a mixture of different techniques. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're aiming for. Very simple bit of kind of quite graphic work really. But a lot of textures, a few techniques with your lino on top as a kind of stamp. First thing you're going to want to do is kind of mask off a square rectangle. I'm working on quite a small scale. Um, do make sure you stick your tape to your trousers or sleeve or skirt or whatever. Um, and just to take some of the sticky off because it will rip your page. Right, I'm just trying here with some silver printing ink, a little layer rolled on, mixing washing up liquid with some drawing ink get a straw blow into it loads of fun raise some of them bubbles up and you can then just lower your paper down on top and you get a little kind of bubbly impression i wanted some bubbles to go with my fish so i've got two things going on at once a little experimental page um, where i'm going to try some techniques out and um the piece i'm kind of aiming for um, this is kind of my experiment page. I'm marking off thirds here just so I can, as a compositional guide. So, Letraset, if you've got any, you can still buy this stuff. Um, I've discovered this little trick. Transfer and then get some Pro Marker or liquid ink and go over the top of where you've Letraset. Then take a little roll of masking tape and just pull that Letraset back off. Hey presto you've got a kind of, uh, it's almost like a stencil really, but you get those base layer textures coming through rather than the heavy black electro set. So I like that technique. So back to my kind of more finished one. Um, I'm doing like a repeat pattern of mackerel. So just, yeah, really imagine it if I put the word mackerel in it. Um, like I say, this is just to give you ideas. So pulling off that electro set there, revealing my base layers. Okay. So let's get some printing done now we've got our base. So I'm tripling up layers of masking tape here onto some acetate. Now I'm going to draw around my little lino block I've cut. I'm assuming ADJ and others out there, you're all right with kind of lino process. I've made like a, what we call a lino stamp here rather than a whole plate. Um, if you do want some instruction on lino cutting, then let me know. So I've drawn around it going to get my scalpel and I'm going to cut this out. Now this is going to be a kind of silhouette base layer that I'm going to print onto my background. So cutting out there, I'm just going to pull off the bits of masking tape I don't need. I've got a nice triple layer of masking tape so it will give a bit of relief, stick off the surface. Right, I've got this lovely silver printing ink. Uh, it's actually commercial printing ink that's meant to run through big you know the big rollers for mass production but it kind of works pretty well for lino really useful for color reduction just something else you can paint with it as well when you thin thin it down with some spirits right it's dead messy though because it's oil based so i'm going to get a tiny tiny bit on there grab a roller I really don't want much of this because I want some of my background to come through. Let's see if we can ink it up. Okay, you can see I've got quite a lot of excess ink on the um On the print plate so I'm just going to snip that off to make my life a little easier save me getting a tissue and wiping it off okay I'm get these bits in the bin okay I've frozen the screen here so flipped over my little masking tape silhouette taped it down 
in position so that when I flip that page back over and burnish with the wooden spoon, I know it's going to be quite stable and not move around too much. Peel it off, there you go. I like the way it's not fully opaque. Some of the textures on my background are coming through. Right, final layer. Um, again, um, with some of this commercial okay. printing ink, you might want to use my... some you know, block printing ink. Um, this works, I've got away with it. I actually didn't leave it long enough to dry there. in between layers either. Ready, just Always best with oil based, uh, oil based um, ink yeah. to leave them a while um, to dry. So, a tiny amount of ink, it's obviously my little lino yeah. stamp, it's really, really tiny. Ink on the roll I don't want to waste anything, inking up and ready to go. Again, I'm going to use masking tape just to kind of secure this little stamp in place. So fiddly. And I'm not going to burnish it, just going to run a roller over the back, and that's given me enough pressure. Repeat, repeat, print done. Looks good. Like I said, I should have left it to dry a little longer, but it came out okay. I got away with it. So there you go. I popped it in a little matte frame so you can see how it looks presented. Right, thanks ADJ. I've really enjoyed this. I haven't done anything like this for a while. It's given me lots of ideas. Um, Maybe next video, I'm going to do something with jelly printing. Lovely lady, friend of mine, MA, up in Scotland, showed me how to do this a few summers ago. Been wondering what to do with the process. Maybe I'll combine this with Lino. Look, I'm all about kind of sharing some stuff, so you let me know if you want to see that. Remember to like, subscribe, share, take it easy, and I'll see you soon.